My husband cheated and gave me an STD while I'm currently pregnant. I'm currently eight weeks into my pregnancy. I had gone for a routine pap smear and STD screening. A few days later, I test positive for gonorrhea. I had never cheated on my husband and never expected that he cheated on me. When I confronted him with the test results, he seemed genuinely shocked and insisted that there had to be a mix up with the results. He swore up and down that he had been faithful and there was no way that it could be true. I insisted that he get tested. He agreed to do it and as the days passed, he admitted that that he had met a woman online and had sex with her. He claimed it was a mistake and he couldn't answer why he did it. He said the woman meant nothing to him and it was a one-time thing. I'm disgusted and feel betrayed knowing that he put me at such risk. Our pregnancy was planned so we were actively trying before I got pregnant and he had no regard for that. The thought of continuing the pregnancy while dealing with this betrayal is overwhelming. I'm considering having a, an abortion because the idea of bringing a child in the mix is crazy to me. I don't think I can ever forgive him. I feel like crap for thinking of having an abortion. I just can't see myself continuing this marriage and having a baby. Finally decided to find out the truth about his affair. I figured out my husband's email password and discovered that he's been on dating sites for months. I also found a woman's name and email address from hotel bookings he forwarded to her. I googled her information, found out where she worked, and called her. When she picked up, I got scared and hung up, but she called back and we had a long conversation. She said that she didn't know he was married and kept apologizing. She told me that if my husband and I had been intimate in the past few weeks, I should get tested because he gave her an STD. I was shocked because I thought she had given it to him. She said he gaslighted her, making it seem like she got it from someone else. I told her he did the same thing to me. I didn't mention that I'm pregnant. She said she cut him off and is considering suing him over it. They met on Tinder and had been seeing each other for six months. Although I initially thought she should have known he was married, but I believe her because my husband isn't on social media. He has an Insta account but doesn't post pictures. She confirmed that they had sex multiple times, contradicting his claim that it was a one-time thing. She said they spent time in hotels until she felt comfortable inviting him to her apartment. We came to the conclusion that she was just one of the women he was involved with because he gave both of us an STD. Hearing all of this made me sick. Knowing there are other women, I feel stupid for not realizing what was going on and probably wouldn't have found out if it wasn't for the STD results. My husband doesn't know what I've discovered or that I've spoken to her. This is incredibly tough. I'm heartbroken and conflicted about whether I should schedule an abortion, but finding this out is pushing me towards that decision. Am I the asshole to divorce my husband and leave him with the kid after finding out that I am not biologically the mom. I have been with my husband for about 10 years and we have been married for seven now. We have what I thought was my child by surrogate and he's two years old. Unfortunately, after trying for four years to have a baby, we, and also with medical in intervention and everything, we found out that I cannot carry a baby to full term. This obviously really devastated me because I have always wanted to be a mom and it really made me so sad to find out that I would never be able to carry a baby to full term. I got surgery to increase fertility, but during the surgery, something went wrong, which made me have to get a partial hysterectomy. After the surgery, we looked into surrogates and they are really expensive. My friend that I've had since college offered to be a surrogate for us to cut down on the costs and after about two failed IVF attempts which really left us disappointed, she ended up getting pregnant on the third try and she carried our son to full term. I was so happy and busy after the birth and everything was just crazy. Being a mom was amazing, but I was so busy and I had four week leave and after returning to work, between that and being a mom, I really just didn't notice any of the warning signs. I really should have noticed all the red flags early on, but I didn't because I was so stressed and so exhausted working my full-time job and two part-time jobs just to be able to afford everything medical bills all of our home bills just our regular bills and the legal costs on top of everything for having my friend become our surrogate I was the primary breadwinner my friend and my husband started talking a lot more and when I would come home from my weekend job I would find that she was already hanging out at our house with my husband I kind of just brushed it off and I thought maybe it was good for my husband and her to get in to know each other because she would be potentially carrying our baby for us I was also just grateful to have someone help us taking care of the child I also thought it was really weird that our son had brown eyes when we both had blue eyes then I found out that while this 
this is definitely uncommon it's not impossible so then that kind of made me just put it on the back burner for a little Recently, it all came to a head when I had taken my son to a doctor's appointment and he had to get blood tests and a blood panel. I found out that he had a blood type that would be literally impossible for him to have. He's B positive, I'm A positive, and my husband is O positive. Immediately, I started kind of freaking out and worrying because I immediately thought that it was probably the fertility clinic that maybe they messed up and implanted the wrong embryo. I started lining up lawyer consultations because I was preparing to potentially sue the fertility clinic for messing up and I also looked into getting DNA tests. The tests came back that I was not the mother but my husband was the father so I ended up going and talking to lawyers about medical malpractice within the fertility clinic that we used and then my husband finally confessed that he had slept with our surrogate multiple times within the whole process of trying to get the embryos in place in her. This means that what I thought was our son conceived by IVF and being planted in our surrogate was actually not and he was actually made the old-fashioned way which I obviously cannot do. He claims that he didn't ever think that pregnancy was an outcome of this because he had always taken precaution and he also kind of assumed that he was always the reason for our infertility struggles. I felt like a triple betrayal because my husband was sleeping with my friend my friend who was supposed to be my friend was sleeping with my husband and then to come to find out that my son isn't even really mine i immediately left and i went to stay at a hotel and then i went to stay with my parents and i do admit that i left my son with him i'm also filing for divorce because obviously he betrayed me in the worst way possible and i cut off the friend that was supposed to be my friend and now i feel like i cannot trust anyone in my life I've started to talk to different lawyers about giving up my rights to our child so that I don't have to face this betrayal anymore and I won't have to pay child support when we end up getting divorced. My husband and my friend slash surrogate have apologized so many times but they keep calling me selfish and immature for just giving up on my child like that. My parents also think it's wrong for me to just give up my son, especially after how many legal and medical hoops I have had to go through to get him. But I said that I would much rather adopt in the future with a much more trustworthy partner. My parents think that it's basically the same thing as just keeping my current son. They are all about me divorcing my cheater husband, obviously, but they just think that I shouldn't give up the rights to my child. Some of my other friends are supportive and agree with what I'm doing. They all admit that they probably wouldn't be able to give up their ego and raise an affair baby either. I just need a clean break and a fresh start, and I'm thinking of about moving several states away just to get away from all of this. So am I the asshole for wanting to give up my parental rights in this divorce for a kid that is not even biologically mine?